Peter built the city to strengthen Russia. Catherine made it a rising star by transforming just one of his buildings, the Winter Palace. She changed it into a big, beautiful art museum. Today, it is called the Hermitage. To see it, we cross the Neva River by the Frojsky Bridge. The green and white Baroque facade seems to stretch forever. We enter and walk up the luxurious marble stairway. A big painting of Olympus looms above us on the ceiling. Our first sight is the throne of Peter the Great. Behind the throne we see his portrait with Minerva, the goddess of wisdom and war, Peter's role model and mythical mentor. His original winter palace is much bigger now. Buildings and rooms have been added. One of them, this pavilion hall, used to be Catherine's retreat. It has been rebuilt since, but still has a view of her garden. She bought art collections from Europe and watched crates of them unload from boats. With them, she embellished this hall and called it her hermitage. That name describes the entire palace today. With prefixes small, new and old to tell the buildings apart. This pavilion hall is in the small hermitage. Its main feature is a huge peacock clock of wood, bronze and silver foil. In the old hermitage, we see the Leonardo Hall and this painting, Nita Madonna. And we see another by Salvatore Mundi. In the new hermitage, we see the Raphael Logia, a corridor of art built by Catherine to emulate the Vatican. In her own lifetime, she collected about 4,000 items now displayed all over the museum. In the Raphael Hall, we see his paintings and those done by his students. In the large skylight hall, we see the Death of Adonis sculpture and many Italian paintings. In the Spanish cabinet, we see an El Greco and a Vela Quay.
in the Dutch Hall, we see works of Rembrandt. We walk past many others. We see many sculptures, some of them by Canova. We walk from room to beautiful room and see malachite vases and tables, tapestries, ceramics, fine woodwork and many artifacts. The Hermitage lists 3 million pieces in 1,500 rooms and 6 buildings. We are able to see just a few. Catherine's successors added to her acquisitions. Tsar Alexander I, her grandson, added the collection of Empress Josephine. Her ex-husband, Emperor Napoleon, had his formidable army decimated by Alexander's forces at the Battle of Borodino in Russia. Russians call it the Patriotic War of 1812. It was the beginning of the end of Napoleon. We see its exhibit in Moscow. Tsar Nicholas I honored his brother Alexander's victory. He added the gallery of 1812 to the Winter Palace with a big painting of Alexander I and portraits of his victorious generals. Those are field marshals Mikhail Kutuzov and Barclay the Toli stand out. A big disaster struck the Hermitage in the winter of 1837. The accumulated soot in a palace fireplace ignited and the fire spread. What happened to all its paintings? and all the collections. Did they survive? 